Hello there! I'm back at it again with another exciting installment of Mario Kart, but with a twist. And in today's exciting, probably final Wave 4 twist, we're finally running the best stuff from Wave 4. I know, it's taking me, taking me so long to do it. But here we are. Three combos today, three races on each. We're gonna see how well each can perform online. It's gonna be a fairly fun experiment. Seeing. Uh, I don't want to talk about how I just messed that up and got punished. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Anyway, we're starting a Biggie Buggy. You know, this combo is mainly time trials. It has the best mini turbo three I'm using today, but also best Excel. But it's lacking in the other stats, especially speed. Mini turbo makes up for it, which is why it's good. Especially in time trials when you aren't getting like bumped by anybody. Because, yeah, the wheat stat leaves a lot to be desired. Weight and speed are the problems with this cart. It's pretty good. I mean, it's supposed to be. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be using it today. No, would I? Either way, we're on Dragon. We haven't really had a good start. But I nailed Cut this time, and I am sorry, but I have to do it. I'm trying to get set. I'm in fourth. Top two are kind of gone, but I do have a star. I'm hoping shock happens. Do it. Maybe? Okay, that's not what I want to see. Top two are still gone. No signs of blue either. I only have shrooms. Just not going to help much. Go the pass is Isabel probably. Okay, we got blue. That's good. Got to nail this cut. Although, I think top two also just nailed it. Plan in the back. Really? Well, this Isabel got some spammy items. No. I'm not letting you spam me. You can spam everybody else, but not me. I did plant them. I guess the Yoshi be. Oh no, I didn't plant them. Get him. Or not. It's fine. You can keep first. It's just double SMT using my mini turbo stat. I almost hit that banana. Acceleration coming clutch. Thank you, acceleration. That could have been much worse. I mean, top were, tops were completely gone. Second for the first race. Not too shabby. Mushroom Gorge. Alright, I think this is a bitty record. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it should still be a good track for me. I know Dragon was a bitty record, which definitely justifies it. I mean, either way, I'm gonna try to get a shroom. I'm gonna go wide for coins up here. Get some cash, then hopefully I'll be able to... Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna make sure I get cash. It's getting cash is the beginning of the comeback story. As I get a better pull, maybe two shrooms? Nope, everybody around me got triple shrooms. I only get, well, I guess I did technically ask for two shrooms, so can I really say much? No, although I wouldn't have wanted to get lagged off because that sucked. I don't even know why I wasted that shroom. It's all right though, playing this track in the back is, you know what, die. Not you, you. You trailed me from across the map. That is me getting my revenge. Very unjustified for him. I kind of apologize. Either way, we have a red. Okay, you probably shouldn't have passed me. You knew I had a red. Okay, golden star. Not bad. Could be better, but it's not bad if shock doesn't happen yet. Because I can use golden to take the strat up here. And then just save a lot of time as I hit the fence. Okay, maybe I might have bagged a little bit too hard. That's fine. That shock is completely fine. Bill? I'm in fifth. I'm gonna get a bill. Okay, well, I didn't want to drive on the road anyway. I'm gonna hope I pull shrooms in the back. I don't think I win because of that Birdo, but... Ooh, golden. Perfect. Okay, yeah, the Birdo definitely wins. I'd imagine that Yoshi has to take cut with two. He does not, surprisingly. Also, I missed the trick, but we should be fine. Give me a second. Third. That was the most scuffed cut ever. I did not deserve second. <laughs> I'll take the third, though. That's not too shabby. Definitely could have been better, but I definitely overbagged. Waluigi Pinball for the final bitty track. All right. I think this one's a bitty record. I'm more confident on this one than Gorge, to say the least. Either way, this should be a decent runner for me. I can use my mini turbos to my advantage here because there are a lot of turns. And I also get a free draft, which is nice as I mess up the mini turbo line. Actually, I didn't want to get pinballed. You know what, it's fine. I found a way to get pinballed anyway. What am I saying? Well, that's uh, a little embarrassing, but we'll just throw that on the bridge. We'll pretend that never happened. 
we were still in fifth after that. It's not even as bad as it could have been. Just get some coins. Never mind. I only wanted one coin anyway. I tried to do everything to avoid that pinball. My driving is just so bad right now. Sheesh, don't bump me into the pinball again. That got way too close. I should feel happy that I trailed him. Just because if I didn't, I was definitely getting bumped into that pinball. Unfortunately, this is the third race in a row where I'm just not front running. I mean, one mistake on Betty and I've just fallen behind. That red was unavoidable. Poke the red. That was probably not the best position to go. I'm not going to fire out the guy behind me because there's a crazy guy and I don't want to take that red. Oh, hi. Never mind. I'm just going to fire him, but... Okay. Shock's perfectly fine. Shock's right into set. I pick up another two free coins. I definitely need them. I'm only at like three. Although, I am starting to catch up a little bit, which is definitely nice. I do need to start catching up. I don't want to overbag here. Well, I don't want to bag, period. This is like a hard runner. Point six. Got a few coins. Got a decent pull. There's a blue going for first as well. Nailing all the strats. Red's not going for me. The pinball is, though. I don't know why I didn't even bother avoiding it. I just let it happen. Also, that shy guy's triple reds. I don't know if I want to be here. I mean, actually, I just got paid a lot. And now they're backing everything. Interesting decision, Shy Guy? Maybe you don't back that one? Actually, just back it now. Right before I pass you. He's holding the last one. Why? Oh, there it goes. Well, that interaction happened. Now I'm in first with the Shroomman Triple Greens. I don't really understand how this managed to go this way, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm in a decent position here. There's a holdout. I hear fire, but I don't see it. Shy guy behind me doesn't look like they have anything. Should be able to nail this strat fairly easily due to Biddy. Gotta make sure I don't get pinballed again. I don't want to get to be embarrassed twice. Okay, there we go. Where'd the shy guy go? Is he just done? Okay, well, that worked out. Nice. That was much better than the previous two races, to say the least. Definitely could have been cleaner, but at least Biddy's going out with a win. Here we are, on Tokyo Blur with the quote-unquote second best combo in the game. At least, in my opinion. Technically, this is the most spammed combo online, especially on Worldwide, which checks out. But you might be wondering, why do I call it second best? Well, for starters, this thing has the best speed and weight out of all the me meta combos right now. Which is definitely good, but to me, it Technically also has the worst mini turbo, Excel, and I guess it technically has best traction, but that's not really doing much for it. Regardless, it's still really good. It's not as good as the best combo, and if you know every single other YouTuber who's done this, you know what it is. Normally I drop, but I've been messing up drops a lot lately. I'm just gonna take the hit. And I could have dropped the Brotto out of horn. Okay, whatever. I mean, I'm still in second after it. Never mind. I didn't even have to trail there. I'm better off going for double. Because I'm... I'm glad I'm going for double. That shot kind of sucked. But if I get trouble streams, it's fine. Nope. Who mashed the ring frame one? I had like 10 coins going into this lap, and I have none now. But, I mean, this is supposed to be the best... Like, one of the best combos. It should be able to make this comeback happen, right? I believe. I'm gonna get this peach out of here. Because I do not want to. Just ghost. I figured. They shroomed right up behind me. I had full reason to mash that boo. Okay, this is fine. Triple Reds is good offense. And I dodged. Okay, now it's great offense. Goodbye. Throw these two for first. Or just one, I guess. Does it hit? He didn't get a box. I feel bad for you. Or do I? I don't know. First. See, this combo's definitely busted. I mean, that wasn't really a combo thing, but we'll take the win. Mirror Mode Rainbow Road. All right, this could be decent for me. I do have a decent amount of anti-grav speed. Technically, Biddy's world record here, but I mean, Ink Striker's still good, like better than Biddy, so it should be fine. Just because I'm already starting in first. I'm just gonna trail, get people off of me. I wanna be able to hold this lead for as long as possible. Even though this isn't the hardest front runner in the game, it's still able to be front ran, which is what I'm going to be relying on here. Especially with my superior stats to nobody, because this lobby still has a lot of meta. <laughs> I'm not really outclassing anybody at all. But we're still in first for now. 
with my superior driving lines, quote unquote. Okay, triple shrimps in third. I don't know what the peach has. We're in first for now. And a nice little breakaway. Not too big, but it's better than small. Of course, cannon, like, half the lobby is just so far back that we're gonna be running into some issues soon regarding shock. So most of your mini turbo strats are basically free. Okay, then, game. I didn't want to have my thing anyway. Let's place bomb on landing. I probably should have tried for set, but the banana scared me. I almost fell off. That would have sucked. Boop. That's gonna get somebody. It's gonna get both of them. Now I have a breakaway again. I mean, not really. The guy in the star is, like, right behind me, but it's better than nothing. At least I got most of the people out of the way. And he's on your striker, too. And your ink striker buddies, I guess. What does he have? A red? Okay. I have defense. I'm good for this set. Unless he has double reds. Then I'm not good. Let's see if I'm safe. I got a coin. I am not safe if he has two reds. Although I don't know why he'd want to red me out here. This blue can still happen. Like, it's very likely, in fact. Because cannon set. Also because the lobby is, like, so spread out. Okay, he's trying to red me. Got to the boxes in time. But I'm no longer safe. Again. What do you even have? I can't see him. Did he fall off? Well, I s Oh. The red went the other way, so I'm somehow safe. Never mind. You dodged in second with a horn. And the blue still goes for me. Okay, then. Well, I didn't want to win anyway, I guess. I don't know how I'm supposed to outskill that. At least I still got second. Even after the shock blue, I mean, I guess it could have been worse, all things considered. Not too shabby. Sydney Sprint. Alright, this track should be fine. If I can play front... Well, actually, this is technically a bagger, if anything. Well, I don't even know what this is. You can technically run it or bag it, both work. So we'll just try to run as I immediately line fail. Fortunately, Ink Striker has my back. But it's still busted. Anyway, somebody's getting green. Sorry, Luigi. I was gonna hit somebody because I had the green and I really wanted to throw it. So then I did. Give me a draft. Thanks. That draft definitely helps me. Because now I'm at fourth with a shroom. Although I do only have one coin. I am lucky that red went for somebody else. And, and now I need a shroom away. I would have loved getting coins, but the proto right behind me has bananas, and I don't know how many coins they have. Which is kind of a problem for me. Because I just can't do anything about them. I mean, I could technically horn them. Nah, I'll just take cut. I'll just run away from my problem. Goodbye, Peach. Did they line fail, or did I just actually save that much time? Well, either way, we're first. Now we just kind of have to hold it. And also worry about blue, but that's a different issue entirely. Either way, for now we're looking good. I'm gonna get, finally get my coins back up. I'm almost at 10. I'll be at 10 in just like a few seconds. The real question is, do I go for railing cut? Mmm, nah. I don't want to play risky. I'm getting glued anyway. I'd rather not. I'd rather not lose all my coins. Peach went for it. No idea if they made it. I don't see them still. They did not make it, so I got a decent breakaway again. So the blue hit did not immediately make me lose first. We will take that. Technically, a second blue can happen. It is a little unlikely, though. I'm gonna have to be pulled, like, last set and then mashed. I have a bomb. I don't know what the shy guy has, but I'm looking pretty good in this scenario. I'm gonna place this tight. Maybe they'll get him. It did not, but the attempt was there. I didn't get punished for it, so I'm not really going to say much else. I'm basically good. Okay. Well, that went well. And I was right. Blue technically could get pulled. It was just mashed last set. Exactly what I said. I guess that means I'm a reader of the future. All right. We're here on the final combo, probably the best one, of the video. Yoshi, Teddy Buddy, Rollers, Paper Glider. Or any substitute glider or rollers. Um, what? Okay, well, regardless, Teddy Buggy, technically the, the, I guess you could say the middle child between the two combos I've already ran, it's basically the middle option of both, but it has like the best combination to keep up with Ink Striker, speed, like speed wise, it's only minus 0.25, but it also has enough mini turbo to just, you know, be good. 
Like, it has more mini turbo than Ink Striker. It just basically changes out 0.25 speed for 0.25 mini turbo. And to me, that is more worth it than the other other options. So, yeah. We're on the Teddy. And I'm kind of repeating myself because I've finished my explanation. Either way, one first. Coconut Mall. Second's getting rutted out, which is good for me. Because I get a bigger breakaway. We're going to go bottom path, even though top path is technically faster. We pick up some coins. We need to realize this thing is still very smooth. I mean, even more smooth than Ink Striker would be with these turns. It does not struggle getting many turbos in the slightest. Technically speaking, Vinny's more of just overkill, if anything. It doesn't make it bad, though, like, in the slightest. Technically speaking, the track we're on right now is a Biddy track. Also, can I do this properly? Sort of. I mean, technically speaking, it's faster to go bottom if you're front running. But if you can take cut, you want to stay top. That's how it works. I don't know why it works like that, but it just is. I'm going to take the wider route here. It's a little risky if I mess it up, but if I don't, I get a slightly bigger breakaway. Not really too concerned about items. I should be good. Like, just a nice smooth front run so I can quickly get my explanation done. Of course. Okay, I guess it wasn't nice and smooth, but it was nice. Because that ghost just happened to red me on the line, but fortunately did not cost me a spot. We'll still take the first, though. Pretty solid start. Thwomp Ruins. Certainly not a track you get to see every day. It's not very common, but I am honestly perfectly fine with it. It'll be nice to have a change of pace, because it's been forever since I last played Thwomp Ruins. I might go for coins. I don't really want to get trailed. Let's just grab some coins, get that early speed advantage. It'll be helpful in the long run. At least I think it will. I don't lose that much time for going for six coins, so you know what? Should be in a good position here. I get the last two right here. I have two shrooms, which is not exactly what I need. I mean, it, actually, I might be fine. I'm right behind first. I was right on them trailing, and they also have less coins than me, so I'm kind of scared. Should be fine, though. Because I can just shroom through cut here and immediately get up to first. I just need to make sure I don't shroom into their banana. Okay, they dropped. That works too. Nice. Now I have a shroom first. I don't have any defense, but I'm going to risk it here. I think it's worth it. Especially with my superior stats. To not necessarily the Birdo, but in comparison to what I normally do. It's just kind of front run time. Which is very normal. It's gonna be risky holding this. Never mind, there's a blue. I'm no longer being risky. If the Birdo red reds me, I kinda of question it, because I'm being blued. I don't think they knew I had the shroom. Now I just have to hope they don't have a red. And then I should be good. Because I'm in a really good position here. Just have a nice breakaway. Seems like they know how to take cut. But my breakaway is just even bigger now. That Kinda sucks. I mean, I was shocked out of double, but I do get glide around. Which is faster than being on the ground when small. So there is that. I gain time over second. So that's something, as I do whatever that line was. Unfortunately, Teddy can afford that bad driving, but still. I should be good. I mean, unless he pulled like triple reds behind me. Bomb should be able to get rid of at least one red. We're looking pretty good here. Yep. Bomb snipe. Nice. Unnecessary bomb snap at the end of myself, but sure. We will gladly take that front run. One race left on Teddy. Can it outdo the the Ink Striker? Probably. Well, let's see if it can do it. Here we are. The last race of Yoshi's meta. Maybe. I mean, probably not. If The main reason why I'm making this now, in case you're wondering, is because... If a wave 5 patch happens, it'd be nice to have documentation of this combo before it's gone, you know? Thought it'd be fitting to do it now. But either way, we're on the final race. We got Sky Garden, which is an interesting track. Technically, it's like, you can bag or run. I typically like trying to run it because it's just fun to run. Except for leaf, the leaf cut I did like right at the start. That was not fun. But either way, one second here. Do I put pressure on first? I think I let them hold the horn here, honestly. Probably in my best interest. Oh gosh, leaf gut still sucks. I mean, yeah, you can clearly tell the Birdo fell off because of it, and I forgot how to super bounce. Well, I mean, we're still first with two pieces of defense. This is honestly fine. Daisy behind me has triple shrooms. 
not really too concerned about it, though. So I can always just red them if they try to pass me. So we should be fine. And they're still behind me. I do have to nail this cut just to guarantee my lead, though. So let's not mess this up. Should hopefully be doable. Okay, that wasn't fast, but it's still faster than going around. That's what matters. We didn't mess up Shroom Strat this time. We did mess up that, but that's fine. Daisy just got hit. We're looking good. We are looking like we're good to win this race. Still have two pieces of defense at first, because the Birdos fail. Is that just it? Is this just proving Teddy domination? Yeah, that's it. Good job, Teddy. You proved my point. Teddy clearly the best of the sample size of three. Obviously. I mean, he got three first back to back. What can you say? But regardless, Wave 4 has been, Wave 4 has been fun. There's been a lot of exciting experiences. I mean, just everything in Wave 4 has certainly been interesting. And I guess I'm hoping Wave 5 will be even better. I mean, I imagine it will be. But for now, that'll be it, and I'll see you in Wave 5.